Alrighty, alrighty. How to get to the thermal thermal plant slash lava castle. If you're already in the lava zone, then you're probably going to want to skip ahead. To start off, you are going to start from this giant coral tube, six up out of the water. And from here, you are going to head, if I can find it, you're going to head about one and a half notches to the right of northwest until you reach the blood kelp forest in the mushroom forest, or right next to the mushroom forest, my fault. Now, since you're going to be going into the lava zone, it's going to be pretty, pretty deep. It's like an end game area. So you're going to want to bring either an upgraded, like a fully upgraded Cyclops or a fully upgraded prawn suit. I do recommend, the only thing I do recommend aside from vehicles, I recommend you bring a knife because there are warpers in this area. And speaking of warpers, let's talk about the threats that you're going to run into there. So, main things that you'll run into there, the biggest one is going to be the Sea Dragon Leviathan. There's only one that swims around the Lotha Castle, and he can kind of swipe at you with his hands, shoot fireballs at you, regular bite, etc, etc. But, he's very loud, and he's pretty easy to spot from a distance, so you shouldn't have that much trouble, like, avoiding him. So just be careful of him when you go in there. You're also going to run into Lava Lizards, which are like, off-brand bone sharks, basically. They can kind of like harden their skin, shoot fireballs at you, do a regular bite, etc. So watch out for them. Then you got warpers, which can teleport you out of your vehicle, unless you're in a cyclops. With warpers, you can either run away from them if they teleport you, or you can use your knife and just beat them up until they take enough damage to warp away. And the last thing are lava larvae, which don't do any actual damage, but they'll latch onto your vehicle and drain power for as long as they're attached. And you can easily cut them off using a knife, or you can use the shield generator to make them jump off. We are at the Blood Cup Forest now, and I'm going to put the cords in this video, so finding this place is easier. Once you are here, you're going to start from, well, basically the center right here of the forest, and you are going to look uh, about just in between north and northeast, and head this way for like a few hundred meters. Now, I would stay close to the ground, or at least, like, start descending, because you are going to end up going all the way down. So you're just going to go this way for a few, few hundred meters until it sort of, like, drops off, and it starts to get deeper. Now, when it starts to get deeper and you see this, like, area, you'll see this little hole slash entrance in between that you can go into, which is exactly where you are going to be going down into. You're going to want to go all the way down. You're going to go down to about 500 meters, I think. 500 or 600. So, between north and northeast, go this way for a little bit. Make sure you're looking down until you see this, like, little crevice that you can go in. And once you see this, you're going to want to go into it all the way to the bottom. So once you are down at the bottom, like I am right now, you're going to see the Lost River. If you look south, you're going to see the Lost River entrance. But you're going to see that there's a way you can go to the right and a way you can go to the left. You're not going to want to go to the way on the right because there is a ghost alive and typically swimming around in this little area over there. So what you're going to want to do is stay to the left side and basically hug the left wall all the way to you until you get to the other side of the cave because on the other side of the cave there's another little drop that you're going to go down and it leads to the deeper part of the lost river you'll see the entrance I was just talking about drops all the way down to the deeper part of the Lost River. So once you get to this entrance, this little hole, you're going to go all the way down to the bottom and go straight forward until you run in, into a room that has like a giant skull in the middle and there's going to be three ways that you can go.
All right there is the skull right there and now we are in the room i was just talking about so once you enter this room there's going to be a giant skull like in the middle of the room and to the right you're going to see a way you can go in front of you you're going to see a way you can go and to the left you're going to see a way you can go now the way you're going to want to go is to the left or to the left <laughs> to the right through the cove tree biome little sub biome whatever you're going to want to go all the way to the end of this biome because at the very end of the biome there's going to be another like little cave entrance that drops down into like a large cavern so just keep going you're going to go to the right once you get in that little skull room you're just going to keep going straight all the way through this little blue biome Well, this is the little drop that I was talking about. It's going to start to go down. And you're going to want to go down this way. Like this is the cavern I was talking about. So, all the way down, like all the way straight through the, uh... Ugh. <laughs> all the way through the um tree cove biome slash blue biome until you drop down into this large cavernous type area now once you get in this little area there's going to be two ways you can go you can either go to the left or you can go to the right and you're going to want to go to the right because to the left there is nothing over there it's just a dead end and to the right it's going to take you all the way to the inactive lava zone which is where you need to be so just go to the right and continue the path all the way through. You know, if sonar worked in this game like it did in real life, all these fish in this game would probably be deaf. I I just spam the sonar in this game, and I know these fish's ears, they're just they are just not having a fun time right now. And now we are in the inactive lava zone. Now, once you get to this little spot right here, you're at the basically at the entrance. You're gonna want to stop right here, and you are gonna want want to look about one and a half notches to the left of east. And you're gonna want to go in that direction because what it's gonna do is it's gonna take you along the left side of the lava castle, which is where the entrance to the lava castle is. And for those wondering, if you're, if you just so happen to be wondering why there's a random sea mob down here, it's because when I came down here the first time I recorded this video, the sea dragon slapped my sea moth into the castle and glitched it out. So yeah, he's kind of just stuck right there. It's okay though. You have the lava castle. This is the lava castle. It should be on your right if you're going the direction I went. And then to your right, once you've gotten to a certain point, you're going to see the entrance of the lava castle. And you'll know it's the entrance because there'll be two little green alien pillars right here. But yeah, once we've gotten to the entrance, we can go ahead and head in. And it's a little bit confusing. Bro, can y'all F off? My gosh. Yeah, it's a little confusing in here, so I'll show you how to get to the thermal plant as well, and how as well as how to get out. So you're gonna want to go through here and head down this little hole. And once you are down this little hole, you're going to see like this sort of area with all these little pillars and stuff. This Kyanite probably isn't going to be there in your game, so you're just going to look to the right and then head in this direction. And you should see a hole on the right or entrance, whatever you want to call it. It's the same thing. You're going to go through this little entrance. And you're going to keep going. It should be in this sort of area right here. And when you look down, there should be a like little pool of lava. Now, once you get here, you just want to go straight down and then turn around and then look to the left. And then you'll see the alien thermal plant right there. And which you can just go up here to the left. And you go right inside. 
And now you made it to the to the thermal plant. So congratulations, and you made it here. I hope you can do whatever you need to do here. So whenever you want to leave this little thermal plant and get out the lava castle, you're just gonna go back the exact way, the exact same way you came. Gosh, I can't speak. So if you're coming out of the alien thermal plant, you're gonna go to the left, and you're gonna look down, and you're gonna see that little hole you came through. should see the pool of lava on the ground like so so once you see this pool of lava you're gonna go right above it you're gonna face the thermal plant which is where you just came from and you're gonna go straight up and then once you're up you'll be up on this like little second floor type area and to the right you should see another hole which is the hole you came through so you're gonna go this way I'll go to the right from there and then once you're in this little back in this little area, you're gonna look to the left. You're gonna see that little entrance right here. And you're gonna go through there. And it's going to lead you back out. And into the general little area. And now you know how to get in the lava zone, in the lava zone, in the in the lava castle, in the alien thermal plant, and you know how to get out. So I hope I was able to. I hope I was able to help you. I will see you in the next one. Peace.